So I quit my job and that is something I really never thought I would say, but I'm going to give you guys the full rundown of what happened, why I decided to leave my job, and to do that, we need to go back to the very beginning. So I graduated my fourth year of Seton Hall University in May of 2022. Back in September, I was applying for jobs. Now I only applied for one job and I was very, very, very fortunate and lucky and I'm very thankful and I don't want that to be taken the wrong way. The first job I applied for, I actually did receive an offer letter for a few weeks later, which is why I stopped applying to jobs. This was a job that I knew I wanted to go into just because I knew the benefits of it and I knew how much it would actually be able to teach me. For those of you who don't know, I was an auditor in a big four company. I'm not going to say which one. The benefits that that company taught me and where I am today is really only because of going into auditing with a big four accounting company. Now, that is not to say that there was not downfalls. Obviously, there's going to be hard times and there's going to be transition problems that myself especially just wasn't ready for. So what do I mean by that? Let's go back to the beginning. So when I accepted the job, I was very, very excited. My dad was someone who worked in the big five before and really enjoyed the actual lessons that it taught him. However, that's not to say it wasn't hard. And again, that's not to say that there was not down points within that career. Now, obviously in every career, there's going to be hard lessons. There's going to be good lessons. There's going to be things that get you from point A to point B. But for me specifically, I was just really excited that I got the opportunity to work in a company like this. When I actually started my job in September, I think what a lot of people don't realize is that the transition of a college student going from maybe working 40 hours a week but not necessarily working a full-time job the way that I was about to transition into or anyone may transition into was very hard and was very not expected. Obviously I knew it was going to be a very hard transition to be able to go into but I think that what colleges should do and prepare us for more is that transition because going into a transition without actually knowing exactly what's going on or exactly how to get from point A to point B and having to learn all new material that yes college may have prepared you for a little but will never actually prepare you for to the extent that you need to be in my personal opinion and from my own experience just wasn't expected and the way I went about actually trying to transition into it wasn't good that's on me and I'm not going to really sit here and talk about every single reason as to why I left my job I will say that I'm very thankful for my job that I had and I'm very thankful for where it got me today but going back to what I was saying, I think that the more and more a college can prepare their students for the transition from going from here to here and from actually graduating college, which is a amazing accomplishment, but then to actually transitioning into that job would be so helpful because if I knew what I know now, I would have transitioned a whole different way. Let's go into why I actually decided to leave. So like I said, the transition for me was really bad. I didn't know really how to cope with time management and that was my main problem. I think it's very fair to say that we hear people all the time say work-life balance. You need to know how to balance things. You need to learn how to work a nine to five, a nine to six, an eight to six, whatever it may be, and learn how to still incorporate the things that you need to do in your life. And for me personally, it was very hard because the hours at a big four are very not balanced. So what do I mean by this? Some days I would be working around the normal nine to five, but this was very, very rare for what I was actually working. And then other days I would be working 9 a.m. to 1 a.m. And of course this was during busy season, but it was a very, very hard transition that I feel like a lot of people aren't going to be accustomed to right away. And that should be expected because working 16 hour work days every single day is very hard. And just for me personally, it wasn't for me. Now, some people absolutely love working in the big four and I give them so much credit because like I said, sometimes a job just isn't going to be for you and other times it could be for the person right next to you and they can love it. I think the main thing for me was I didn't transition well and I also wasn't as passionate about the career as I should have been when going into it. I wanted to take the career because I wanted to learn from the experience and I knew that the career I wanted, which is actually what I am in now, was something I was going to get in the future but would have never gotten right out of college and I knew that in order to get from point A to point B I needed to meet somewhere in the middle to be able to get me to that next step but that's not to say that it wasn't hard and that's not to say that I didn't have struggles that led up to why I actually did decide to leave. 
I also want to say that it was very hard for me to make the decision to actually go from a job to another job. I started interviewing for another job in April and I got the job that I wanted actually within three interviews and it was a very happy time for me during that time. And the reason for that is because I knew that this job was more of a career path that I was going to take. And I'm sorry that this video isn't really structured. I'm like trying to tell a story and the way I'm trying to tell it has to be said in a certain way. I just don't know how to say all the parts that I want to say. So with all that being said, going into my next part, I was in a very rough time because I knew that the job that I was in was teaching me very valuable lessons that would be able to get me to the job I was in today. But I didn't know if it was worth what it was doing to me. Now, what do I mean by that? Like I said, certain jobs are for certain people and that job just personally wasn't for me. That's not to say it was a bad job. It was not a bad job. It was just that it wasn't for me and it didn't work with what I wanted to do with my life and where I wanted to go in the future. Realistically, I knew that that job was going to be a short-term job, especially because of the hours. I think it's fair to say that people talk about big four accounting and big four companies all the time and that it is a very stressful and a very high work place. Now, what do I mean by that? Basically, I was working on the weekends. I was working very long hours. I was trained well, but I didn't really understand necessarily why I was doing certain things. And it wasn't that it was hard to ask because a lot of people were very nice a lot of people would sit with me and try to teach it to me. It was more that just it was such a fast paced job because audit is always busy that it was hard to understand and it was more like working in the moment. Like I said, it was a very, very good learning lesson and it did get me to where I was today. But at the end of the day, I needed to make a decision because of how I was feeling and how I was doing. Because of that, I probably was thinking about it since around January if I should transition into another job because I automatically knew that the hours and the limited amount of work-life balance type of time just wasn't going to be something that was sustainable for me. I want to preface again just because I don't know if people are skipping around in the video it just wasn't for me and like I said some jobs are going to be for certain people and some jobs aren't and that's completely fine. This job could be amazing for one of my best friends and it just may have not been the right fit for me. So I needed to make a decision for myself to better myself to get me into a career that I would actually want to pursue in the future. Now for me personally, I'm not going to say where I work now just for security and that type of reason, but I will say that I was a auditor and now I'm actually a financial analyst and I actually know a few people that have made that switch to go from auditing to being a financial analyst and honestly, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. The people I work with now are amazing. I had a very smooth transition and I feel very comfortable with where I am today within my job and I'm very thankful and grateful to say that and I think it's all because I was able to acknowledge that something wasn't for me. I think it's really important and this is one of the main reasons as to why I'm making this video when you know that something isn't for you there is no reason why you can't take a step back and just ask yourself why so what I did was every single day I would ask myself okay why isn't this working for me is it the hours is it I don't understand what I'm doing is it something else like what is making me so upset within this job and when I allowed myself to actually realize that I just didn't want a job that would require so many hours and I I wanted to have a work-life balance. I knew that it was a job that I was appreciative of and that I learned a lot from, but that it was time to start interviewing to go somewhere else. So in April, I decided to interview at my actually number one wanted job. Like this is the job I really, really wanted. I decided to get a recruiter and try and get an interview. I was lucky enough to get an interview and everything thankfully went very smoothly and I was offered the job and I started with this company May 1st. So I put in my two weeks and as soon as I started to put in my two weeks and realized that I was making the transition, I automatically became happier. Now, this had a lot to do with my health. This had a lot to do with things that were going on in my personal life and more of that is why I also needed to make that transition. Like I said, you know yourself best and no one else can sit there and tell you that something is for you when you know that it's not. I knew that realistically the job I was in was going to get me where I am today. My dad would tell me that, my mom would tell me that, everyone would tell me that. I also knew that it wasn't a career that I wanted to be in my whole entire life and I wanted to be able to 
actually start working towards success when I am young. I wanted to be able to get from point A to point a thousand in a few years rather than starting my actual career and looking for success in a few years because I stayed at a company that I knew I wasn't going to pursue long term. Now that's not to say that I didn't work hard when I was in that company. Of course I did. I put my 110% effort in. But sometimes even when you do that, if a job isn't for you, it is going to drain you. And unfortunately, that's what it did to me. I was very, very drained and I didn't have time to really do anything else. And it just wasn't something that was sustainable for my life. So like I said, I decided to change. And I think the number one reason I would tell you guys as to why I left my corporate job to move into a different corporate job, but that was just more work-life balanced, more for me, something I wanted to pursue is of course because I had a passion for it and also because I realized that that job just wasn't for me and I can't stress enough that that's okay. Obviously the job was stressful but every job is going to be stressful. Every job is going to have its downfalls and I'm not going to sit here and talk about what went wrong because that's just not what I like to do but you know there's good parts and there's bad parts to every single job and that is not one of the reasons why I left. I left because I just knew it wasn't for me and I knew I needed to find something that was and that would actually make me leave work happy. So with all that being said, that is basically all I want to say. I just wanted to give you guys a little update because I used to do nine to five corporate day in the life. So working at a big four and I no longer work at that company. I will still do nine to five jobs, although I kind of work eight to four now. However, I can still do those types of vlogs day in the life, but I'll focus them more on before my work day and after my work day, not really during obviously. Right now I go into my office Tuesday and Thursday and then I work hybrid the other days so it's really nice but with that being said I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update thank you guys so much for watching if you stayed up until this point let me know your thoughts and with all that being said I'll see you guys really soon in my next one bye